Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting and I have a true passion for preparing people for certification exams, especially ASQ certification exams. But today I'm going to answer the question, how do I become an ASQ CQI? CQI being Certified Quality Inspector. It's a wonderful certification, not an easy one to get as you'll see here as we go through this. Well, step one if you want to become an ASQ CQI is get the desire and fulfill the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites? Work experience must be in a full-time paid role. Two years of on-the-job experience. So two years of on-the-job experience. Uh, if you want to read the rest of it, you can, but that's the main thing. You need two years on-the-job experience. And if you have a high, high school diploma or GED, and if you don't, then it takes an additional three years. So if you don't have a high school diploma, you have to have five years experience. If you have a high school diploma or GED, it's only um, two years there, okay? And so that's not too bad. Anyone can take this. It's not an easy exam. Uh, before you take the test, you may want to check to make sure nothing changed. I don't think it will, but that's where I got this information is that website right there. All right, step two, prepare to take the exam. This is the hardest part of becoming a uh, quality inspector, ASQ quality inspector, and also the most time consuming. Visit my website at www.asqcqi.com and uh, it will tell you about a class we offer. It's an excellent class that can help you pass this uh, rather difficult certification exam. As you can see, we create certification exams for almost all of the ASQ certifications or we create classes for those. So I hope you'll consider us. Here's all the lectures we have for the CCT, and I add up all the times on another slide to let you know the total amount of time I think it's going to take you to prepare for this. But we have a great class, so hopefully you'll consider us for that. All right, what's happened now then? Uh, you've fulfilled the requirements of ASQ, and you've signed up for the exam. You've prepared to take the exam, step three, sign up for the ASQ CQI exam. And I have a video entitled How to Sign Up for the ASQ Exam, so be sure and listen to that. I'll answer all the questions. About a seven minute video, that's why I'm not going to go over it in this one. It takes too much time. And this one, the ASQ CQI, is on the January schedule. ASQ offers this test every other month. So January, then they'll skip February, and then the next one will be March. By the time you listen to this video, these dates will probably be invalid. But uh, it's on, if you'll remember, it's on the January cycle. It usually starts at the first week of the month, goes a couple week windows that you can take the test. You have to sign up to that uh, about approximately a month before the actual exam to get in there. I wouldn't put it off to the last minute because just because ASQ says you can take it doesn't mean there's room in the testing center to take it. So I'd rather have you sign up earlier than later. Again, check out this schedule before you sign up to make sure nothing changed at this website here. All right, CQI is one of the more difficult exams that ASQ offers. Look at that. It's the 17th out of 18th. So there's only one other test that has a higher failure rate than the CQI, and that's the CPGP. So it's not easy. Don't take it for granted. Pass rate's uh, 55%, which means what? 45% failure rate, almost half the people fail. And I feel it'll take you 82 hours to prepare for this exam, at least with the class I offer. Now our pass rates are much higher than the general uh, population. We're more in the, not around the 90%, 85-90% range. So we have an excellent class. We've been improving that class for over 20 years. So please consider us for that. Step five, pass the ASQ exam and celebrate. You know, why not? Uh, here's the, how much a quality inspector gets paid. It just average. I looked up all these websites and took the average of them, and you're at $41,000 per year, at least at the time of this recording. I have another lecture on that that goes into what industry you're in, what degree you have, how much experience you have, to give you a little better estimate of that. But that's not bad. That gives you kind of a basic average idea of that. All right, remember I pass most of the ASQ certification exams, not all of them, but most of them, and I can most certainly help you pass yours. If 
you have any questions, please contact me through my website at contact us option, and uh, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.